think confirmation in the chat box. Hello. Okay. Thanks, Akshay. Thanks, Samuel. Thanks, Nupendra. Perfect. Okay, Daisy. Okay, Kushpreet. Great. So thanks for the confirmation, guys. Thanks for sharing with me that you'll be able to hear me and able to like see my screen as well. So let me just quickly start this particular session. So first of all, let me just introduce myself. My name is Dipanshu Jaiswal, and I'll be your host for this particular session. So let me just rename myself as a host. And you guys able to connect with me during this particular session, whatever queries you have, whatever doubts you have, you simply can put them into the chat box. As well as if you want to just speak over, just raise your hand. I'll give you the opportunity to speak in between the session. If you have any particular question, which only need to be like described as an audio, right? Then definitely you can ask me to unmute you and I'll unmute you and you easily can take care of that particular query and ask those questions. Okay, so without a delay, let me just quickly start this particular session, which is your digital marketing orientation class. So as you all can see in front of you that this particular digital marketing orientation class, which will be for all of you guys who are here to understand this industry more deeply, right? So as I know that all of you have registered for this class just to understand about the aspects of digital marketer, the job opportunities available in this industry and how you can be effective in digital marketing domain, right? So that's all we are going to cover in this particular session even. So before starting, let me just help you with the agenda of this session that what all things you will learn in this session and what all things I'm going to discuss in this particular session and what value you will be getting. Okay, so if I talk about topics cover, then at the first step, I'll be discussing the introduction, introduction about the, uh, myself, introduction about IIM skills, and also I'll be asking your introduction, which will be why, what your objective is into this particular industry. At the second step, I'll be helping you to understand this industry more deeper, which is what, why, and how of digital marketing. Like what digital marketing is, why you should care about it, and how you can master this particular industry. And third step is something which is again really helpful for you, where you will be understanding and you will be learning that right structure to learn digital marketing. Why we are saying right structure to learn digital marketing, why we are discussing this, because I believe each one of you must aware about the fact that if you want to learn something effectively, there is a particular pattern to learn it. There is a particular way to learn those things. If you're not learning those things in that particular manner, in that particular way, which can make you much effective as compared to just your normal learning, right? So if you want to become more effective, you should follow a particular step. You, could, you should follow a particular pattern and way to learn the things. And once you follow that particular pattern, you will be more effective as compared to other people who are actually just following the regular learning pattern, right? Fourth step is something which is how to get jobs and freelancing work. So I'll be helping you to understand how you can get most of the jobs in this industry and how you can go ahead and crack the freelancing opportunity in this particular industry. Fifth step is something which is artificial intelligence in digital marketing. So I hope most of you are aware about artificial intelligence. So can I have a quick reply from all of you? How many of you are aware about AI, artificial intelligence? Quick yes or no in the chat box, guys. Okay, thanks. Coach Preet, perfect. So most of you, I can see that yes, you guys are aware that what exactly the artificial intelligence is. So if I'm talking about artificial intelligence, then how artificial intelligence is impacting digital marketing industry. So AI is not something which is only into digital marketing. It is already applied in various industries. So how it is applied in digital marketing and how you can take the advantage of AI into digital marketing industry, that is something I'll be teaching you in this session. 
and at the last step i'll have one surprise for all of you so all the lovely people here in this session and stay in this session till end so i'll be sharing with you one surprise which definitely you can like use after this particular session and that will be a great surprise for all of you and the great value you can offer for it right okay so now just moving to the first point myself my name is ipanshu jaiswal i am head of marketing at iim skills i am taking care of most of the marketing initiatives here in the iim along Fourteen in two thousand fourteen. So since two thousand fourteen, I am helping digital marketers to like or come. And master this particular industry, where I'll be your trainer as well in few of the session. Like your website building session is with me, and um, during your training, also the marketing automation I'll be teaching you, as well as the AI related digital marketing tools I'll be teaching you. Right. so this is all about me moving forward if i talk about i am skills simply we started in 2015 in 2015 we launched our digital marketing master program and we launched this program after investing more than 10 years into the industry so the founder mr webof kakkar and his fellow like trainers who started this particular program they already achieved millions of traffic on various blogs and websites once they reach millions of traffic they understand the power of this particular industry that how any person can go ahead and target their like required or relevant audience and reach to millions of their targeted user right so how to do particular that that particular thing they crafted a particular program with the help of those steps and those steps like will be shared with you in this particular training as well that how you guys also can go ahead and can get the similar kind of results reach to the millions of people even if you check out the i am skills website in today's time you will see that we are receiving highest traffic in the digital marketing industry we are receiving approximately 1.5 crores people on our website every year right so that is something which is a huge traffic and all other industry leaders all other industry like companies who are into that particular same area they are just getting approximately less than half of the traffic what we are getting right so that is what we will be teaching you how you definitely can go ahead and increase your all the things in your digital marketing aspects in 2016 we have grown to 1000 plus professional training within just one year we have trained 1000 plus professionals in digital marketing industry after just launching within one year in 2018 we cross the number of 33 plus countries so the people participating in our course they are from 33 countries in 2018 but now that number is moved to 45 plus countries right so right now we have people from 45 plus countries as well as if i'll talk about 2022 we ranked number 1 by india tv for highest placement record in 2023 also we have like followed the same pattern and in 2023 we have also launched our ai based marketing program and that ai based marketing program is something where most of the people in industry all the digital marketing training institutes and all they were just thinking about how ai is going to impact at that time we help our student to get the ai related learning and go in the industry with an added advantage so you will be launching yourself in the industry with a skill which is beyond the existing people right so that is something which make you more demanded into into the industry moving forward just let me complete this mission and history part in very simple way that mission we have only to help our student with the affordable education so our only mission is to make this education industry affordable so even you can see that in our course price our all the course fees is approximately half of the fees that most of the people charging into the industry and even they are not offering that kind of comprehensive courses with paid internship and everything we are offering all of the things but we are charging you a very less amount same history i already shared that millions of people we reach digitally before starting this digital marketing program and once we have the proven result that how to reach people over the internet how to use digital marketing to reach out to your targeted audience 
and then we will be teaching this particular program after reaching to millions of people and understanding how to teach them right so this is how this course is crafted okay so now it's about you i have shared everything about myself i have shared everything about the companies as well but now i just wanted to understand what you guys want to achieve with the help of digital marketing so we get many people who have different objective so based on their objective we have created this particular list where most of the people we have their student wants to build career and you are virtual professional who wants to get a growth in the industry or there are people most of them they are housewives who want to restart their career after certain gap after their marriage they have a gap after their like baby they have a gap and then they want to restart the career similarly there are digital marketing professionals who are already into the industry and they are like quickly slowly dissolving they are not getting the similar result which they are getting 2 3 years back so now they want to upskill themselves with the latest trends of the industry and yes business owner who want to grow their business and yes the people who want to create something out of their 9 to 9 to 5 like freelancing they want to do some passive income opportunity so quickly guys share with me in the chat box which one are you right you are the one who want to build a career you are the one grow professionally you are the one who want to restart the career or you are the one already a digital marketing professional want to upskill or you are the one business owner or freelancer so i have a reply from okay any priya she want to restart the career ruhi is saying housewife looking for restart the career mr kumar vikrant is saying dr kumar vikrant is saying he is entrepreneur and nishan to build a career career samuel is saying ashwini is saying restart the career daisy is saying to start a career hi i want to have a working knowledge of dm manage a team and have a marketing okay vankatesh is head of marketing and he want to manage the team we start my career student take business to greater heights i have three years experience in front end not working right now so want to start again kushpreet is saying <clears throat> nikhil salkar is saying he wants to build a career in this industry perfect so most of you have replied the people who still not reply they can reply right so that will not be a problem i can read those reply later but let me just quickly move forward right so as i can see that most of you people are from the similar categories which i have shared so i just wanted to know and get an understanding from you guys simply that as all of you want to become a digital marketer right you want to become a digital marketer for various reason some of you for career reason some of you for business some of you want to restart the career or some of you want to grow their income with the help of freelancing with the help of like your passive income right so if you are here but before learning something before stepping into any industry you must know what people want exactly right if you are not aware that what people want how will you fulfill their requirement right how you will fulfill their requirement so to understand what industry wants is more important before learning the skill so that's why i'll be helping you to understand that but before that i just want to get a your understanding what you think that what industry wants from a digital marketer so let's say you all guys here in this session you become digital marketer now you are a great digital marketer what do you think what your company wants you to perform what your clients want you to perform and what your business actually need you to perform on your business can i have a quick reply from all of you i want each one of you to reply on this question why because i need to understand where my audience is i need to connect with you and i only able to connect with you once i am aware about your knowledge about your understanding right so venkatesh is saying value for money generating leads with relevant target groups okay to reach more targeted audience and grow the output sales absolutely ruhi is saying in simple language all the people who didn't understand the question i just want to say what do you think what will be your work as a digital marketer what you do as a digital marketer after learning this samuel is saying create brand awareness okay guys quickly so that we can end this session on time so i required you to reply quickly guys vankatesh is saying to educate the client build trust and grow their businesses absolutely 
lead team of digital marketer and also launch campaign to generate leads in health and wellness services and product okay advertise our business through social media ani priya saying okay sophia is saying helping small businesses owner get more visibility on their social media platform okay vishal is saying i want to work as a performance marketer okay to take my company online and have awareness in the market okay to help boost businesses online pushpreet is saying growing business by digital marketing yes of course they hire digital marketer to do digital marketing right okay enhance my skills and to get a proper salary hike for the current scenario also in future i can start my business online perfect okay so let me just help you guys to understand this some of you are very precise they like replied greatly right but some of you has replied good but they got not that much close to actual job that industry wants right so let me just help you to understand first what industry wants and what type of jobs opportunity are available in the industry so you can become someone who can fulfill those requirements right if i tell you that yes all these things is needed to get a job in the industry then you can prepare yourself better for all those things right so let's just quickly rather just learning straight away like rather just go and enroll in the course and start learning it's better always to understand first the industry wants and then look forward how my program is helping me to fulfill those industry requirement and then en enroll in the program right okay so let me just help you to understand with the help of one great example here so right now i have one document open on my desktop i hope all of you can see this right can i have a quick yes or no all of you can see this this docs perfect okay let's quickly understand what are the expected results industry wants right okay so the first thing what industry wants is what do you think guys what industry want industry want customers right and the objective is called when someone asks you to help them with more customer then what it is called as a customer acquisition or lead generation right so when you enter in this industry most of the jobs available for the people who are good at this if you are good at lead generation if you are good at customer acquisition then people wants you right then industry wants you you know why because in industry all the business is out there wants to grow how a business will grow if i am running a business if i am getting 100 student every month i want to make them 200 i need more student right if i am selling the shoes if 100 people buying my shoes i want that every month it should increase 200 people 500 people 1000 people they should buy my shoes similarly in every business people wants more customers more leads right so one of the major objective that people ask you to fulfill is customer acquisition and lead generation second let's say there are various companies who don't run ads for customers they just run the ads to make people or remember people about their name like coca cola dairy milk right they don't ask you this like come and fill up your details put your name number email id to buy a dairy milk right they just create some emotional campaigns which can connect with you and whenever like you want to just grow yourself or whenever you just want to be in that situation you always get that brand name in your mind right so what they want they just want more and more brand awareness or visibility right they just want to increase visibility of their brand visibility of their organization over the different channels what will be the third one customer acquisition is something where you spend money you run the ads you do the seo you do various things right similarly brand awareness is also something where you spend the money but there is one campaign people usually run which is to generate revenue and they call it 
revenue generation. So you may have the requirement sometime that company saying that we are good with the number of leads, we are good with the brand, but we are still not generating like a great level of revenue. Why? So you have to analyze the problem. Then you have to find out what will be the solution, how to run those revenue generation campaigns, how to more effectively generate revenue with the help of digital marketing. So you will be the one who will be finding out those problems and filling out those gaps. Fourth is, it is very underrated. Most of you already experienced, but you never have felt that this, is, this can be a job of someone. So it is called as an online reputation management. So online reputation management, what it is? Have you seen like many of the celebrity? They use this, the PR agencies, they have their online reputation management team who will be handling the reputation of a particular person, particular company, particular, like you can say professional. So they do this. So this all the celebrities, politicians, and then you, most of the businesses into service industry, they have this particular team available. So I hope you must have experienced this particular thing that whenever you order something from Zomato or you uh, like, let's say, book a ride from Uber or Ola, if your ride got delayed, what most of the people do? They write their experience. Whenever any flight, or you can say whenever any like particular airline, they cancel their flight. People flooded over the internet with their reviews. So what flight do? The airlines, they try to tackle all those things. Okay, Rishank raised his hand. He want to ask a particular question. Yeah, Rishank, you can just simply either write in the chat box or can speak over here. Uh, hi, sir. Can you please explain revenue generation again? Okay. So it is really just a simple thing. Like most of the companies, they are good with leads. They have good number of leads. They have very well-known brands. They have known in the market, but still they're not able to generate so much of revenue. Still they're not able to make it as per the required revenue or met the revenue-based target of their organization. Right. So how you can win the similar resources with the same number of leads, with the same like kind of brand awareness, how you can increase the revenue of a brand. Right. So that is all is there. Right. You have to analyze the problem. What is brand is facing? What company is facing? Then you have to make your strategy accordingly, which can help organization to generate revenue and take your revenue to the next level. Fine. Okay, so online reputation management is also something which is most of the people are experiencing what they do when their airline got, or flight was cancelled or maybe their Ola driver is not on the time. So what they do, they simply write over the social media and immediately you will see these company will come up and reply you. Okay, sorry for the inconvenience. What happened? Can you share with us this order ID or your like booking ID or something? And they try to resolve the solution then and there. So what that means, they are very conscious about their brand. That means they are really helpful to their, like you can say, consumers, and they just don't, they don't want to create a negative impact over the internet about their brand. Their online reputation team or management team is really active in those particular things, and you will be a part of those things if you are a digital marketer, right? Because you will be aware what people are talking about on the internet about you. You have all those tools, you have learned all those tools, which will make you that person who can like just simply take care of what people are talking about on the internet, right? So these are the four major job roles available in the industry. So can I have a quick yes or no from all of you? If you understood it clearly, just write simply yes. If there is a question, just write or ask your question. Perfect, Nikhil, Venkatesh, Ruhi, all good. Ishan, okay, yes, Sakshi, yes. Anipriya, yes. Ashwini, yes. Vishant, yes. Amol, yes. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So <clears throat> here I'm assuming that all of you are well aware about the jobs available in the industry now. Right. So let's quick, quickly discuss what will be the job role in this. So let's say if you are someone hiring you for lead generation, how will you help them? Right. What we discuss, what is digital marketing, why we already discussed why you should care about all these things. And now we are discussing about how. So how you will be helping the student or helping your clients or helping your company with all these things. 
So if we are talking about this particular thing, then simply we have to understand from our point of view. So I want to know a little more about lead generation. Yes, I'm coming on that part only, Muskan. Right? So I'll be covering each particular thing one by one, how you will be helping organization for lead generation and everything. Right? So simply you guys need to understand what is lead generation. Lead generation is acquiring people. Right? So to understand this process, what needs to be done? To understand this process, there is a very small thing you guys can do. I am giving you a practical example of the things, right? So if you ever want to understand a process of anything, targeted audience, uh, yeah, it is. But first, you need to understand behavior, right? So to understand the behavior, you have to look at yourself. I am the customer of many things. I buy many things on daily basis. I buy t-shirts, I buy mobile phone, I buy courses, I buy various things, right? So to understand the lead generation and customer acquisition, I have to understand myself or my journey to become a customer of someone. How will I do this? I'll just understand, let's say, if I have to buy a shoe in my budget, what will I do? I'll search over the internet best shoes in this budget, right? Let's say for an example, I am fat. I want to get slim. I want to lose few pounds. I want to lose my weight. So what will I search on the internet? I'll search this term, weight loss pills. If I am not convenient or if I don't get time to do exercises and if I am foodie, if I am like actually cannot leave the food, I really don't want to get on to, onto the strict diet. So what will I do? I just try to find out some pills which can help me to lose my weight, right? See what people search even. People search like this, weight loss pills that actually work, right? Best supplement for weight loss females, weight loss pills that actually work fast, right? People search how to lose weight without workout, without doing diet. So if I show you that, you can see how to see with exercise fast, belly fat fast without exercise, right? And even without diet also people search on the internet, right? So there are different type of people search for different things on the internet. So let's say if I'm someone who want to lose my weight with certain pills, so I'm searching for weight loss pills. When I'm searching for this, <coughs> I'm getting some results here. I'm getting certain results here. And I'm also getting certain results here. The difference between all three results is this result is sponsored and it has certain more information, right? Image, name, price, rating, all these things, right? If I'll go to these results, these are something name and some description, name and some description, right? And if I'll go to this result, this has again has a sponsored, but with same website name and result or some description. So first you need to understand what is the difference between this sponsored and these results, which is not sponsored, right? So wherever you guys will say it is written as a sponsored. Right, that means it is paid advertising. People are paying to the platform. And whatever the results are, without the sponsored. They are organic results, right? Organic results are basically non-paid, right? You are not paying for these things and you are paying for these things wherever sponsored is written, right? So when I am searching for weight loss pills, I'm getting all these companies who are giving me their advertisement with the help of paying the platform. There are companies who are ranking here without paying to the platform. And there are again the companies who are paying the platform and showing themselves, right? <clears throat> so what all these companies are doing actually? What these companies are doing? These companies simply targeting me as an audience. And what they want from me, they want me to visit their website and somehow provide my details to them. 
actually they want they see me as a customer or as a future prospect or as a future customer and they want to get me as a customer right so to increase their possibility to getting me as a customer what they are doing they are running the ads on google so that i can click on their ad and can visit their website or they are doing their seo which is organic marketing search engine optimization and also they are running this search type of ads as well right so they are making their possibility that i'll click one of them and become a customer of these companies right so for customer acquisition what people are doing people are doing search engine marketing so basically search engine marketing means google ads right they are running the ads on google what else what else they do they are running the ads here this is called as a google ad but there are two type of ads one type of ads is this one which is a sponsored one and have with the images and with the price and all these things and another type of ad is this one so there are two type of ads people are running to acquire me as a customer right so one type of ad of google is shopping ad and other type of ads is search ads right there are eight type of different advertisement in google so when you get to learn about google ads then you have to understand how to run different types of google ads how to run ads as a shopping ads how to ad run the ads as a search ad so you will learn all these things right but before that you have to understand which one is the shopping one and which one is the search one so which one is the shopping one guys the first one or the second one the top one or the bottom one quickly write in chat box what do you think which one is the shopping one this one or this one top one right so you all able to guess it right you know why because it is giving you the feel like shopping right it is telling you the price it is telling you the rating it is telling you the features that one bottle 240 tablets two months right so it is look like a sh window shopping uh, like window shopping where you can see the product and can see the price as well and then you can click and buy the product so it is like a price tag of a product right so it is giving you the shopping i would kind of experience so this is why it is called as a shopping ad and the another one it is a search result it is in between these search results right so that's why it is called as a search ad apart from these two things what else people are doing here on google so these company have a possibility to get me as a customer this company also has a possibility to get me as a customer by running ads but these companies also have a opportunity to get me as a customer even without running the ad and this is called as a search engine optimization which is seo right why seo is better why seo is good in terms of marketing and why you should care about seo so let's quickly understand this guys you can see this uber suggest extension here in my system i installed one extension through chrome if i enable this what it will do it will actually help me to understand how many people are searching for weight loss pills this is the keyword how many people are searching for weight loss pills actually work so 5400 people are searching for this 2900 people are searching for this right and this will also show me how much traffic these websites are getting which are into seo which are into organic results so if i am running the ads like this or like this then i have to pay google 25 rupees for one click here you can see cpc cpc means cost per click so if someone is searching weight loss pills and they are clicking on the website of these companies which are running sponsored ads then google charge those website 25 rupees for every click but people are clicking on these website google not charging them anything and how and why it is important can you see this website it is getting 73000 visitors every month 
this website is getting 71 or 72000 approximately visits in a month so let's say if i just quickly show you if 72000 people i need to get on my website at a price of 25 per click then how much money i need to invest in marketing i need to invest somewhere around 18 lakh rupees in my marketing so this company getting the customer worth rupees 18 lakh without investing or without paying anything to google so they are not paying 18 lakh rupees to google they are still getting the customers worth rupees 18 lakh with the help of seo there is this is how and that kind of effectiveness seo has so if you are ranking on your terms if you are ranking uh, in seo with your keywords then definitely you can take your organization or multiply the growth of your organization how because first you will save the marketing budget let's say if i am getting 72000 people on my website clicking on my website who are searching for weight loss pills might be i am converting them as well i am getting few customers who are purchasing my product as well and i am also saving 18 lakh rupees on marketing budget so that 18 lakh rupees i can invest to grow my organization i can invest to multiply my organization right i can hire more people i can invest on other marketing activities right so if i save that marketing budget what else guys apart from this social media marketing right to acquire customer i am just thinking about myself so let's say after searching for weight loss pills when i go to social media when i open my instagram what will i see i see some type of advertisement who are talking about get this drink daily and you will lose the fat get this tablet you will lose the fat when i click those ads what will happen they ask me my name number bmi all these things right and they ask me to purchase their membership give me the customized plan all these things right so they also targeting me on social media to acquire me as a lead so if someone wants to build a news website and he wants traffic on it so this search engine marketing will also work there so it's just for shopping website see search engine marketing will work there but shopping ads won't work for you right as i said eight type of ads i only discuss two type of ads here right so let's say if you are running a news website so i am searching for let's say latest news in delhi right so let's say i am searching for this can you see these news these are these newspapers website so simply you can get the traffic you can run your ads on these keywords latest news right and if i am checking you here then this much people are searching or running the ads right 4400 people searching latest news in delhi today right or if i am just simply searching for latest news then again if i'll come here and check out then can you see latest news of hindi 5 lakh 50000 people are searching for this and the cost is only 1 rupee 60 paisa latest news is only searched by 1 million people right and the cost is 20 rupee per click right so this is how you can run the ads for any keyword which you think that can bring you the customers for your particular industry for your targeted audience how are you getting the analysis i just told you guys simply i am getting this analysis with the help of this uber suggest extension to get this uber suggest extension what you have to do you simply have to click on the three dot of chrome in the corner and then there will be an option of extension when you click on extension you will get an option of visit chrome web store right this will be the link i can share with you in the chat box guys right? don't worry so this will be the link and here you have to search for uber such as so let's say i'm searching for uber suggest here and this is the one which i have installed so with the help of this one i am getting this so you simply can install this and can definitely go ahead and can get the understanding on these particular things though you already learn these things in the course itself so don't worry about it much now you will learn all these things in the course itself right so we teach you how to use this and apart from this there are various other tools you will also learn for the similar things right which can help you even more precisely to find out the data and do this analysis 
is free or chargeable? This one is free. How are you getting this analysis? Okay, Sakshi. Okay, so guys, I'm giving you the link of this particular tool. You simply can like install it there and can check it out there, right? And can install it in your Chrome browser. Don't do it right now. Just copy the link and paste it somewhere and save it somewhere, right? Do it after the session. Okay, so now moving forward, guys. So when you see all these things, right? So this is one of the ways how you acquire the customer through social media. You experience this thing, social media, when you are searching for shoes and after searching for shoes on the internet, when you go to your Instagram, when you go to your Facebook, when you are scrolling them, you will see the similar type of ads. Even sometimes the same article, same shoes will be there as an advertisement. So how that happened? This happened because of social media marketing, because of remarketing, retargeting, which people do to acquire you as a customer, right? So this is how it works. So you have to understand when being a marketer, being a digital marketer, you have to do the same thing to acquire customer for your company, to acquire customer for your business and to acquire customer for your client. Okay, now moving forward, what is the second most demanded objective is brand awareness. So brand awareness is again something which is really important and that is the after lead generation. Every company wants this. How many of you want to become a brand who are running a business? So let's say any business out there, if anyone doing a business in your family or if anyone doing business in your circle, in your friend circle, you must heard about those people. Yeah, I want to build a brand. I want to make it big, right? So why people say this? Because every business owner, they wants to become a brand someday. They just want them to... Like they just want everyone to know about themselves. Every particular, their targeted audience should know about this particular brand, right? And that's what they want. So for their, for achieve, to achieve this particular brand awareness and visibility, what they do? They just make people memorize them, right? So let me just give you a very small activity, guys. So all of you are there in this session. I am giving you three seconds. Close your eyes and think about a brand. Think about this word, brand. Take the name brand, brand, brand two, three times in your mind. So now write here whatever you got in your mind. So whatever you got in your mind, just simply write here in the chat box, whatever it is. Zara, Apple, Logo, Lens Card, SAP, my own clothing brand, Rit, Judio, okay, Flipkart, perfect. <laughs> right? So you all are getting these names, Do you know why? Because somehow they are already in your subconscious. Somehow these company made some space in your subconscious mind by showing you themselves again and again, keeping you in the discussion of the same product again and again, right? The people who got Apple in their mind, they must have some like recent interaction with either the Apple discussions or they have like aspiration to buy Apple mobile phone, or they already hold an Apple mobile phone. The people say Zara, they must be looking forward to go ahead and like buy those particular clothes, or they have that in their discussion or in their use, right? So what actually happening here? <clears throat> yeah, Flipkart, Zomato, right? Why you have all these names in your mind? Have you realized? Some people have a Flipkart, other people have a Amazon. Some people have a Apple, other people have a Samsung. So this is what companies are doing. They are making people remember about themselves with the help of certain discussion, certain emotional connect, and certain, you can say, remembering them by showing themselves again and again, right? So if I have to talk about brand visibility, most of the big brands understand one very small fact, and that small fact is you all know this fact. That fact is based on your memories, right? What is this? This is basically something, I hope you all understand this particular fact. 
that whatever you guys listen whatever you guys listen you will forget those things so today you are listening this session possible if i am not showing you all these things practically i am just telling you like uh over the audio without presenting you all these things if i am just telling you over the audio what will happen today you listen and out of 100% what i am telling you hardly 5% you will remember after certain time period and even after 2 year 3 year or even after a long period you don't even remember those things right similarly whatever you let's say whatever you see whatever you listen you it is a very short span of memory whatever you read it is also a bit longer than listening and whatever you see yourself it is the longest one right so listen listening is short span reading is a medium and looking or watching something is has a largest or longest time span as a memory right so what these brands will do these brands actually try to show you the things again and again so that will feed in your subconscious mind and that's how whenever someone says shoes you will get nike adidas these things in your mind why because every time when you see the shoes ads when you talk about shoes when you search for shoes you will always see these types of advertisement of these companies right so they are so much aggressive in their digital marketing campaign similar way when you talk about <coughs> let's say <coughs> lens <coughs> lenses so when you talk about lenses you will see the lens stuff when you talk about clothes you will see zara h&m all these companies right so this is how they try to make you remember so what we understand with this that brand awareness is something which is directly proportional with video and images so people use video and images to present their brand and what are the things you can use to present video and images where you can run the digital marketing campaigns for video and images so one of them is search engine marketing right so in search engine marketing this time we have a different advertisement we have a google ads but under google ads there is a different type of ad which is called as a display ad so what are the display ads display ads are something like this so let's say i am searching for let's say latest news right when i am searching for latest news and i am reading let's say this indian express let me open just this one when i am open this one when i am scrolling this what will i see on this website it is loading right now right so can you see the ads of instagram they are promoting their simply logo here right can you see this adobe creative cloud adobe is promoting their logo here right so you will see all these type of ads there is one another one right so all these type of advertisement where you where you can run the ads on the other website with the help of some banner some images and all and those are called as a display ads see hostinger it is running their particular advertisement here and they are promoting their h logo they are promoting their adobe logo right so all these things all these companies are actually promoting and making you remember about their logo about their brand color with some color combination all these things right so that you can easily recognize them or you have that in your mind always so it is called as a display ad so same you can do with youtube ads as well whenever you are watching some video you will see some skippable or non skippable ads here right so you can use youtube ads as well for the brand promotion apart from this what else you can do you can run social media campaigns right instagram facebook all these things definitely support images and videos so you can run your social media marketing ad over fb insta linkedin right linkedin is more for lead generation but fb insta these are more popular or your snapchat these are more popular among like promoting images and videos but yes linkedin is something for lead generation you can use right 
Apart from this, can you suggest any other method through which you can promote your brand? Just simply write in the chat box if you have something as a name. Or if no, then let me just do it for you. It will be email marketing. With the help of email marketing, what I can do? I can nurture my existing people. I can nurture my clients. Right? So let's say I am running a lead generation campaign where I'm generating 1,000 lead every day. Those 1,000 leads are actually not buying my product. What they are doing? Out of 1,000, only 10 people are buying my product. 990 people are not buying my product. So what will I do with these 990 people? If I just simply multiply them with 30, what will be the number? 29,000. If I multiply by 12 again, then in a year, I will get three and a half lakh people who are visiting my website but not purchase my product. What I can do with them? I can just nurture them. I have their email ID. They've given me the details. They came on my website. They fill up their details. So I can help them with my brand awareness campaign. I can tell them about my brand, why they have not purchased my product. I have to identify the problem. I have to identify whether they didn't like about uh, my product. They don't like my brand. They are not aware about my brand. So what are the things I can educate them about my brand, right, with the help of my email campaigns. I hope most of you have seen this. Like most of you have heard about like Tomato is telling your their customer stories, their brand stories, their positive stories, their customer or their employee achieve something stories. So all these things Tomato is sharing with people, with their audience. Why? Over their email ID. Because just to make them nurture, just to always be in their brand or in their subconscious mind. Because I have read one email from Zomato today, so I know that yes, Zomato is, I'm ordering a food, I immediately get pop up that, okay, let's open Zomato and order, right? So they always in your subconscious mind with the help of different activity, right? So they send you some brand story which you like, which you may connect with, and then yes, you have that story feed in your mind, and you always have the Zomato name with, attached with that story, right? So this is how brand also help you to uh, use email marketing for the brand building. And similar way, now let's move to the revenue generation part. Revenue generation campaigns, let's say your organization doing good in leads, good in brands, but they're not generating revenue. So what could be the reason? How to generate revenue, how to increase the revenue, that will be your responsibility. Yeah, you can use the WhatsApp marketing as well, but WhatsApp is something right, which people usually don't much recommend or entertain. Right. So if you do much of WhatsApp marketing, then you will be spammed or you will be blocked by your customer itself. Right. So most of the WhatsApp marketing people use for give them updates. Right. People give updates using WhatsApp and not too often. Okay. Then revenue generation. Google affiliate. Google affiliate is not something like this. Right. I'll come on affiliate marketing. Don't worry about it. I'll tell you that particular thing. See, guys, first of all, you need to understand affiliate marketing is not any skill. Affiliate marketing is not a skill. Affiliate marketing is the objective, right? So let me just show you how quickly. Let's say I'm searching for mobile phone under 20,000 rupees, right? So what these companies are, they are running ads, they are running ads, and these are the SEO, right? But let me just come on this website, 91 mobile. This website is getting 1.2 million traffic. This website is getting 1.2 million traffic. So what exactly this website is doing? This website is telling me about the specification and uh, like features of the mobile phone. And they are not selling the phone. What they are doing, if I have to purchase this phone, let's say I like this phone on this website. And if I have to purchase this phone, what will I do? I'll go to Amazon. So if I go with this link on Amazon, what will happen? Amazon will pay commission to this website, 91 mobile. Amazon get to know this customer. When I click on this link, can you see this origin? If you see that particular URL, which was there, you'll be able to understand. Let's see if I'm just again clicking here. And now you guys can see, right? 
origin desktop, place, page, mobile ID, Amazon.in, and all this. This URL is actually telling the Amazon that this customer came from 91 mobile, right? So Amazon will know that yes, this customer came from 91 mobile and Amazon will pay the commission to 91 mobile. So what this website is doing? This website is doing affiliate marketing. This website is promoting themselves on Google, promoting themselves on Google uh, SEO and getting the customer on their website and then giving those people links for Amazon, Flipkart and other websites. See, Amazon, Flipkart, Chroma and they are affiliated by these companies. So these companies already set up the commission with this particular 91 mobile that on this product we give you this much commission on this product we give you this much commission so every website has a different commission or different affiliate programs so you can register them or you can register yourself with them as an affiliate marketer right but to promote their product what will you do you cannot do affiliate marketing to promote their product what will you do to promote their product you are actually using digital marketing, which is Google Ads, SEO, all these things. But yes, if you are Amazon, if you are Amazon, what you can do? You can find these type of websites on the internet who are actually ranking on the relevant keywords and can list your product there. Like Amazon listed their product or themselves here. So in affiliate marketing, you are not doing anything. You are not doing marketing. You are just paying commission to someone who is doing good marketing. Right? Understood, guys? Is it clear the difference? What is actually the affiliate marketing? All people, quick response in the chat box if it is understood to all. Shruti, Jatin. See, affiliate marketing, I have to repeat, I just suggest you to watch my recording of this session again, Venkatesh, because I have to end this session on time, so it will be time-consuming thing to repeat everything again, right? Simply, just understand only the fact that affiliate marketing is something where you earn the commission by promoting others' products and how you promote others' products using all the same thing which I shared, SEO, search engine marketing, social media. With the help of this, you can get the customer on your website and then you sell them others' products. This is called affiliate marketing. So let's say if I'm very good at bodybuilding, if I'm very good at dieting, so I can create a dieting related website where I can put the dieting related tips and when someone to come on my website, I can tell them the products which are related to dieting. And those products, I'm not manufacturing. Those products are with some other company. I give them the link that you guys can buy it from here. And those people will click on those links and I'll get the commission. That's it. This is affiliate marketing. But so many people are earning very well with affiliate marketing. Yes, because they do digital marketing. So Shruti, those people who are doing affiliate marketing, what they do, where you seen them, you seen them either on the social media or you have seen, seen them on the Google, right? So they are actually promoting their product. They are promoting their affiliate marketing product and they are making you your customer and then again, they earn the commission. That's it. You also can do this. You also can like make something, some platform for yourself. Right, get your audience on your platform, and once you have an audience on your platform, you can sell them the product which is a relevant product. You can be a fitness guru, you can be a travel guru, you can be anyone. And once you have a customer related to the same industry, you can like redirect them on the relevant website from where they can book the travel package, from where they can like buy the protein bars or anything, which is a relevant product. Right. So for revenue generation, what people do, people do these type of revenue generation ads. In between, we got affiliate marketing thing. So we covered that. But now the part is revenue generation. So when I come back to the revenue generation part, what we were discussing there 
that people run the revenue generation ads on the internet even so how they run the revenue generation ads they run with the help of c as i shared with you let's say i am searching for weight loss pill right when i am searching for weight loss pill those ads are not showing now so let me just show you when i am searching for let's say weight loss pill so these ads are here right so once i am seeing these ads right when i click these ads let's say i click on this particular ad when i click this ad can you see guys it is clearly saying 23% off it is asking me to buy now it is giving me 60 tablet at 79 it is cut down the price 1000 to 799 so what is the clear motive of this page the clear motive of this page is to make me click on buy now button right even if you go on any other company website same thing you will see right can you see this one save rupees buy it now so the most highlighted thing in this page is their features their offers and then buy it now this button right so they want me to just click on buy it now and purchase the product so they don't want my information they don't want my name number email anything what they just want they just want me to click on the ad and purchase the product so these type of advertisement usually people run to generate revenue right you must see these type of ads either on the search engine in the form of in the form of shopping ads right also what you will see you will also see this type of advertisement over your social media in the form of like your insta or your fb there what you see you must have seen mobile phone cover t-shirts all these type of small ticket size with those companies have the ticket size in between 100 rupees to let's say 2000 rupees so they just take you quickly on the shopping page and there they will show you the timer that this is the time 40 seconds or one minute is there just buy this now get this great offer right so all those type of revenue generation ads they uh, run just to quickly people make them purchase right so this is a revenue generation campaign but people usually use with either search engine marketing using shopping ads or with social media using insta and fb ads they are directly asking you to buy certain things right apart from this email marketing so with the help of email marketing what people can do with the help of email marketing they can send you an emailers where they can just ask you to purchase the product i hope most of you have experiences when you purchase something from mintra from amazon from flipkart you left your product in cart this kind of email you receive after certain hours 4 hours 5 hours you will receive that you have this product in your cart complete your purchase what they are doing actually they are just reminding you they want you to see they have a customer they have a brand awareness everything but they didn't get the revenue from you so what they want now they want revenue from you so they are sending you an email which is telling you complete your purchase use this 10% coupon right so they give you these kind of things to just make generate revenue from you also you must have experience let's say i have purchased mobile phone recently so people are running social media ads for i am getting the advertisement of same mobile phone covers on the social media right similarly i get email from amazon that get this mobile phone cover combo right uh, with the tempered glass mobile phone cover order this now right so also let's say if i am purchasing a printer from amazon after one month what amazon will do amazon will send me an email buy cartridge and a4 sheet because they know i am using a printer so i may be someone who frequently use the a4 sheet who frequently use the cartridges for the printer so they send me those email which make me their customer again which help them to generate recurring revenue from me right so this is how it works the revenue generation campaign moving forward online reputation management so online reputation management is like most of you people have experience over social media as i initially said when you like write about some brands when you talk about some brands on internet so their sell is active 
and they immediately respond i hope you have much experience in today's time most of the reels right on instagram you must have seen those reels where people are asking people to comment if some brands comment on my reel i will purchase their product and if under that particular comment you will the comment section you will see this is flooded with the brands all the brands are commenting like in the creative way so what who who are those people those are the teams who are handling their online reputation management there some people are writing about what about my orders right uh, i have not received my orders in the comments you will also see these type of comments as well so the brands are replying them as well they are replying them yes you will get your order soon this is on the way can you share the order id with us in the dm so they are also taking care of the all those like conversation which is people are doing about their brand right so that's what online reputation management teams are doing keeping their manage keeping their reputation high on the internet right so you also can manage with the help of email marketing you also send emails related to the achievements of your brand right so related to the brand stories about what your people say testimonials all these thing you share about the reputation of your brand with your other people who have not yet become your customers right okay so now quickly i want to understand from all of you you initially understood all the things about what are the jobs available these four types of jobs right and now you are also aware how you gonna achieve these results if someone come to you and ask you can you generate leads for me now you know how to generate leads for them if someone say can you build a brand you know how to build a brand someone say can you help me with revenue generation you are aware how to get them revenue or how to increase their revenue you are aware what to use for the revenue right so you know what are the opportunities and you also know how to click those opportunities how to like acquire those opportunities what's the difference between brand and logo nothing actually brand has logo and brand made you memorize their logo right so you know the brand either with their logo or with their name right actually brand promote their logo as a image so that it can be in your mind right so perfect guys can i have a quick agreement from all of you if you understood everything crystal clear can i have can you simply say agree or can you simply say understood if you want to say understood just simply write ud okay perfect 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 guys nishant anipriya shruti sonja ashwini how much budget required for brand promotion okay i'll be coming on that part samuel are you part of online reputation yes absolutely vishnu diyagi how we create banners and other multimedia things for add and other promotional activity yes i'll be coming on that meena agree nikhil sarkar agree perfect great so thanks everyone thanks for like sharing your confirmation with me so now i'm just moving forward to make you understand now you all are aware what are the opportunity how to reach those opportunity but you understood only the part which is after becoming a digital marketer let's discuss how you become that digital marketer who achieve all these things who know these platform for lead generation who know these platform for brand who know these platform for revenue who know these platform for reputation management is media buying part of digital marketing yes absolutely i'll coming on those part i'll be coming on those like course related topics so don't worry about guys i'll share with you all those things okay so let me just quickly take you to the next slide where i'll be helping you to understand the right structure to learn digital marketing right so in our right structure to learn digital marketing we have five steps so step 1 is insightful learning insightful learning we are not writing just learning here we are writing insightful learning here why because learning most of the time people think learning means i'll teach you the tools how to do this right but we are writing insightful learning here why because insightful learning means you will learn first about the platform that how the platform works what do you think how you will be more effective if i am directly start teaching you the tools or 
if i first teach you about the platform pros and cons about the platform or if i'll teach you let's say how platform give weightage to the different things right how particular things are responsible for different things so if i teach you the insights about the platform first then you will be more effective to learn the tools or if i directly teach you the tools you will be more effective how simply say in the chat box for an example if you start driving a car right if you start learning how to drive a car if i directly teach you give acceleration give brake or give like your use clutch like this then you will be a better driver or if i first teach you what clutch will do if you use clutch properly what is the impact on your engine for the clutch if you know the inside that what clutch is gonna do with your car if you want to use it in a wrong way your car can be like stop in middle of like some of your journey or you may need the mechanic quickly right so if you are aware that what clutch is responsible then you will use the clutch more responsibly similar way if you know that what the platform is more responsible what are the different things responsible in this platform then you will be precisely using the platform for effective implementation right and that will help you to boost your performance and to enhance your skills right so that's why we teach you in insightful learning first once the insightful learning is there let's say you got all the learning you are aware about all the pro and cons and everything yeah so once you are aware aware about all these things will it be enough to get a job no you need a practical knowledge absolutely anipriya so to get a practical knowledge what we do we help you with life practices right so here let me show you with an example here i open my website right okay yeah so there you can see that this master digital marketing course which we are offering it is for 5 months and here it is 40 digital marketing modules we cover how many niches a person should opt to become a good and successful digital marketer or a digital marketer should be known to all niches deeply i am coming on that part shruti don't worry i'll cover this but let me just help you with this structure first and i'll i'll take the question one by one from each one of you so don't worry about it right so five months of comprehensive live training master 40 plus digital marketing module and there in first three months in first three months we cover these two steps insightful learning and life practices right how we cover this if you come here so in first three months we teach you all this topic insightfully your digital marketing your wordpress introduction of digital marketing then your website designing on wordpress the seo search engine optimization which is for organic results google ads integrated digital marketing strategy social media inbound marketing email marketing analytics orm online reputation management e-commerce marketing your media buying and planning the someone said will it be covered or not yes affiliate marketing marketing automation video marketing graphic designing content writing digital resume creation so all those things will be covered in first three months and the best part these things will not be covered only theoretically these things will be covered with the help of practical example how let me just open this wordpress one so here you learn all these things and tools you will use these tools you will create a website of yours which will be a live website similar way when you go to seo you will be learning all these things you will be using all the tools you will be working on all these tools working on like all these technologies and yes you will be performing the things live how you will be performing the things live we give you the assignment where you will be working upon so those assignments will be like this let's say you will be developing website you will be working on social media marketing strategies you will be creating a affiliate marketing channel you will be working on video marketing like micro video marketing google ads email marketing so you will perform all these tasks live while you learning the things right that is the best part in 3 months after learning all these things you will be confident yes i learn the things i practice those things right right so i am uh, reading the question nupendra i answer this question after this particular completion of this slide right so don't worry so insightful learning life practices these two things are something which first three months you will learn all these things and practically apply all the knowledge which you are gaining in this three months 
once you apply this knowledge you are aware now what are my strengths what are my weakness i am good at google ads i am good at social media but i am not good at seo so if i am aware about these things so what i can do i can practice more about that particular thing that is one of the way or the other way is i can leave that thing i can only look for the job which is for social media and google ads i don't look for the jobs which are for seo but yes if i want to become someone who is holistically knowing about all the things then i have to make those weakness into strength right i can repeat the classes i can do the more practices and then i can make them my strength right so once you are confident on your skills let's say you are very confident on your skills will you get a job in the industry or no you learned everything you confident on your skills will you get a job in the industry or no quickly yes or no in the chat box quickly guys yes 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 no no yes nishant you have to understand what is performance marketing i believe you listen from someone that's performance marketing but performance marketing you are not aware actually what exactly it is so performance marketing is basically covered in the program and performance marketing is basically most of the ads where the budget is consumed so all the company all the agencies name the people differently before it was digital marketer right before it was digital marketer people say every profile whether it is a social media or it is a seo they call it digital marketer but now they differentiated the profile of the people who handle the ads so the people who handle the ads they call it performance marketers right the people who run the ads on facebook run the ads on social media run the ads on google right and they optimize the ads frequently they only works on the ads model right they called as a performance marketer they have to get performance out of the amount invested right so to need someone who can actually give performance because their company is investing the money company is putting 5 lakh rupees in ads so they need someone who can get them the performance based on those 5 lakhs rupees so that's how they made the name of the profile as a performance marketer there are no different tools of perform performance marketer you have to be more specific into the ads you have to be more creative into the ads and that's how you become performance marketer got it nishant i may have to talk to you offline dipanshu would wordpress module cover domain and host buying within your course i'll be coming on those parts let me just complete this one guys can i take 2 minutes more to complete this one fine so life practices portfolio building so most of you have said after getting learn after doing the practices once you confident on your skill you will get a job but no industry is not like this industry is different all the people doing business here i am asking one question to you guys whom you hire the one who is confident on the skill or the one who come to you with their practical result with portfolio the one who show you that these are the result i produced in the past you hire that person or the person who is just telling you that i am very good at all these things hire me quickly write in the chat box which one you prefer portfolio portfolio practical result Does performance marketer only do system administration, or do they have to create content for the company themselves too? No, performance marketer more of ad profile who manage the advertisement where money is invested, right? Like Google ads, Facebook ads, more of them, right? With practical assignments, okay, one with results, practical portfolio, absolutely. So everyone loves to hire the one who is. showing them experience who is showing them i am good at this thing and you can validate so in industry people validate your skills they don't validate with your confidence they validate with your past results so portfolio is helping you in that and how you build a portfolio we have two months of paid internship after your three months of learning so once you are learned everything once you are confident in your skills we help you with a two month of portfolio building where in two month of paid internship you work on six to eight different projects 
these six to eight different projects will be with various brands, various companies, where you will be applying the different types of learning of your digital marketing and producing the results. So let's say some of you is writing the article for Times of India. So when you write a article on Times of India and when it is got published on Times of India, what you can say, you can tell in your interview and you can put it in your portfolio that this article is written by me. You can check the name of author. Name of author is Anipriya. Name of the author is Shruti Bhagga. And yes, this is written by me and this is published on Times of India and this is ranking on Google. So you can write these kind of portfolio experiences with the link of your results and that gives the confidence of the other person that yes, this is the right person to hire. She is very good. This he is very good. We should hire this person. He builds some results, right? So in this two month internship, we help you to build the practical results. And the best part, this internship you can do from anywhere. You don't have to come for this internship wherever you are, any location. You can do this internship. Second best thing. It does not require you to leave your job. You can do this internship with your current job, with your current education, like college, school, whatever you are doing. With that particular thing, you can do this. So it only required your free time, which is your flexible hours. So we tell you like we will provide you an internship manager who closely monitor your internship. And that internship manager will help you to complete your assignments, which we are giving you within the given time frame. So let's say if you are working Monday to Friday, nine to five, so you have your Saturday, Sunday after 5 p.m. You can do that internship. If you are not free on Monday to Saturday, you only have a Sunday or if you only have a rotational off on a particular day. So you can complete your task on that particular day, that particular time apart from your working hours. And then you can complete this internship, right? You don't have to pay anything for the internship or something we pay you we pay you six thousand rupees for this internship right so it is something you build a portfolio you get the practical experience and also we pay you six thousand rupees during this internship right okay yeah it is the only reason why people need like live online learning because there you have the mentors available who always connected with you and help you with the practical experience along with the uh, Sophia is raising the hand. Sophia, can I request you to write your query in the chat box? That will be helpful because I have multiple queries right now, right? So I have to handle all of them. Okay, so simply I'm coming on this part again. Can I do both side by side? Yeah, absolutely. That will not be a problem. You can do it. Right. So now if I'm coming on this again, so once you learn the things, you did the practical things and then you build a portfolio. Now, if you go to the freelancing opportunity and job, then definitely you'll be able to correct them because people can see your results. People can see what you are doing and people are well aware about your practical approach. So they more likely to hire you, right? How we help you in this, we have our own job portal. Where, which you definitely can access from resources and job portal. And here we have jobs available in all the industry. Like you have social media marketing jobs, digital marketers, Mumbai, Pune, Mumbai, Gurgaon, anywhere like which is a remote one. So you have the multiple jobs available on this page. Apart from this, we have a 350 placement partners who are connected with us from the various countries. So these 350 plus placement partners help you guys also in getting a job in your location, right? Apart from this, for freelancing, we also teach you how to get the freelancing project. We also teach you how to become like, create your own freelancing website and get the project using your digital marketing skills. Right, so once you learn all these things, what do you think guys? Can I have a quick question from all of you? What do you think once you learn all these things? Once you get the insightful learning, practical exposure, portfolio building, and then we also help you in getting jobs. Will you be able to like achieve your objective or no? Can I have a quick yes or no? Will you agree with this? Will this structure help you to get a job? Right. Perfect. So yeah, so simply if you follow this structure, if you learn the things, practice the things, and then you become make a portfolio and then you go for the opportunity, you will get a job. But still the work is not done. 
you have to get yourself always updated in the industry you have to always keep yourself updating in the industry you always need to upskill yourself right and how will you upskill yourself because this industry is ever changing this industry is not something like mathematics it is not like what you learned 2 years back it will still be the same no what you learned 2 years back now it is completely changed or maximum 30 to 40% changed so you have to learn the latest trend have you seen that every time there are new type of reels or new types of trend is going on on the instagram right similar way every time you will see google follow the different algorithms which increase or decrease your ranking on the google so you have to effectively update yourself with all the latest trends happening and how will you update yourself even the platform also sometimes uh, some of you may be experienced that before facebook there was a platform called orkut have you experienced this orkut was there in early 2000 now it is not available right then google plus google place was the one another platform was there but still it is not there yahoo messenger right you have a skype so you have various platform which come and go right similarly before facebook was so popular but now people are shifting from facebook to instagram and instagram to snapchat right so every time you have a new trends available new platform available and you as a marketer you have to use the right platform at, at the right time so if you don't upskill yourself with the latest platform you won't be able to take the advantage of the industry right so if you always want to take the advantage of this industry you have to keep yourself upskilling and how you will do this we provide you lifetime access for the program so by any chance once you complete this program even in next 3 month 4 month you still have a access whenever you feel like need to upgrade yourself to simply log in in your account and check out all the latest content right for an example we started in 2015 so in 2015 all the people who enrolled with us they still can log in and can learn all the latest platform latest learning we are teaching right they don't need any amount extra to be paid now right so this opportunity will available for all of you as well so let's say today you enroll you learn about all the things as a digital marketer you become the digital marketer and after one year two year whenever you feel like now you need upgradation in this industry you simply can log in and can update yourself right so with this i got one question that someone asked previously they said that two years of like people are offering two years of digital marketing diploma or courses like this so what is the difference between the certification and the university courses this is the exact reason so what do you think if you are learning a two years course in digital marketing in digital marketing whatever you learn in your first semester by the end of your two years most of the things will get changed because this industry is changing so quickly so doing a two year investing like uh, like three year two year kind of diploma in this industry is not that fruitful you know why because this industry is keeps on changing rather doing this you can do a short course in digital marketing along the side you can do your like degree or other things into some specialization let's say you can do the i can do the mba in marketing right if i am doing mba in marketing along the side i can learn this skills which can make me a more effective marketer right on all the platforms not only on digital i will be also able to take care of other traditional sources right so this will be the plus point for this so doing a short courses is always beneficial in this industry because you always have something to upgrade right you always have something to learn as a new thing i have one more question i have a few to talk to you with wordpress module cover domain and buying the hosting see guys simply you have to purchase a domain and hosting for yourself right we teach you both the way where domain and hosting is not required to purchase but yes if you want to run your live website you have to get your domain and hosting it is not very expensive it is hardly cost you 1000 rupees for both of the things right domain and hosting both of the things can cost you 1000 rupees yearly not monthly so for one year if you are paying 1000 rupees i guess that is something you can invest on your learning you can invest on your practical learning right along with this someone asked another question that 
does a performance marketer only do system administration or do they have to create content for the company themselves also yes relevant content they have to create let's say i am a uh, let's say if i am a performance marketer i have to create a ad copy i have to create a ad copy to run ads on google or to run ads on social media so those content definitely i have to manage i have to i must know what i need to promote in the ad what will be the content in the ad right so i have to create that kind of effective content which my team can produce which my team can generate or in the team work i can ask my graphic designer to create that kind of creative which definitely i can use how much money required to pay for it i am learning from udemy uh, teacher dubai is teaching very nicely only problem is yes you will get the real time mentors here you will get your problem solved here in the live sessions or apart from live session you also able to connect with your trainers through email and whatsapp what if you uh, live abroad do offer internship in south africa yes people from south africa do our internship so don't worry about it even we like taught many african countries even the some of the your uh, officials from the ministry they come to india like from the tanzania they came india and they have like get their workshop done by us so do we need a writing skills to be a digital marketer and this course for beginners yes writing is, skills are required that's why we are teaching you content writing and advanced blogging session where you learn the different type of content and how to use that particular content for the different use do we need very good technical skills to be a digital marketer no technical knowledge are not much required in this industry if you are okay with the technology if you just able to use your all the social media accounts if you able to use your laptop desktop use the internet then you will be good to go with this particular program so in this program do we get the doubt session also after the class or any assignment all the classes will be live so all the classes have the doubt clearing session you always can ask your question in the live class and apart from this you also can connect with your trainer after the class can share your doubts and queries over their whatsapp over the email as well anipriya okay no no how much do we need to pay for 3 months i'll be coming on that part who will be teaching us throughout the program there are various trainers you will be learning by some 7 to 8 trainers who will be teaching you different skills and they all are expert so if i am having a 15 year experience in website designing i'll be teaching you website designing i have a 10 years of experience in digital marketing so i'll be teaching you marketing automation and ai related tools along with this the person who has a 12 to 15 years of experience in google ads mr noman rehman he is going to teach you like about google ads same way the people like the roma malhotra she is having about like 15 years of experience and heading the agency in digital marketing she is heading a digital marketing agency she will be teaching you as they are working for various clients on daily basis so she is be teaching you the various other aspects as well founder himself who i am skills ranking you will see already on the google let's see you search any term on the google at say digital marketing course in mumbai right you will get our rank on the first seo right if you are searching for bangalore you search for any location you will found our name there right here again we are on the top right in seo so seo will be taught by the people who are themselves doing this practically right our founder will teach you the seo itself right so i guess what for the what your time period is very less no absolutely not because modules are just a number right So let's say if I'm talking about Google Ads, so Google Ads itself has a various modules covered, right? So it is like you will be going through with a proper learning where you will be learning the all the aspects practically, and it is not so much of less time. Whatever we are committing here, you, that will be covered, right? So you don't have to worry about the time limit. What is the average package going on for average people in India? If I talk about it, is somewhere around four to six lakh. for the people outside india they have a different pay range at different location so in like you can say in uae in dubai and all if i say it is somewhere around 6 to 10000 dirham 6000 dirham to 10000 dirham right so similar way other country have the different pay scale model is content writing being taught yes it's been taught there are party model in course it's possible to cover all module deeply or assignment in just 5 months of period yes it will be covered shruti So you can experience that in our program. We have already trained many people. We have already trained thirty-five thousand students already. So don't worry about that particular thing, that particular aspect. What is the average age of the student in this batch? I am a fifty-seven-year-old marketing professional, having spent twenty-five years in print media, advertising sales. So you don't worry about. We have we have the person age sixty-two is the largest 
one which we have trained, the oldest one which we have trained. So still you are young in comparison of those people, right? So 57, if you just want to understand the marketing concept and everything, then yeah, that is good to go. You can learn all those things within this program. Actually for freshers, not getting, yeah, it is for freshers I'm talking about. Okay, so perfect guys, all queries answered. So let me just come back to this particular slide. Up is killing, right? So I hope all of you are agree with this, that this structure will help you to go ahead and build your skills at master level. Can I have a quick yes or no, agree or disagree? If you follow these five steps, you will be master of this industry. Are you agree with this or no? Simply write agree or disagree, any of the things. Do it quickly, guys. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so now moving to next, where I have had told you about AI thing. Right, so this course, particular program is for five months, as I shared. And this will be like three months of your program and two months of your internship. And for this course, the price is 41,000 rupees, 182 rupees, which was the our usual price. But right now it is available at a discounted fees of 29,000 plus GST. So 29,000 plus GST's total is going to be 35,282 rupees, all inclusive, right? So by paying 35,200, you can learn this five months of training, do your internship and everything, and get master this particular program, right? But apart from this, as I shared, we have one AI-based training program as well. That AI-based training program is for four weeks. In four weeks, we charge you this 24,900 plus GST, which is a separate fee, which is 29,300 separately, apart from that five month program, right? Here you will learn all the things which can boost your productivity with using the AI tools. So let's say if you are the one who is handling the marketing of your company and your company have a deadline, let's say you want to grow in next one year this much. So you can achieve those that kind of growth in three to four months, what you are expecting in one year. Right. So if you, how you will do this, because it will cut down the time of implementation. So let's say if someone is there creating or running your YouTube channel in your organization, he's creating a video in four or five days. So what you can do simply, you can use the AI based tools, which can help you to build even four or five videos in one day. Right. Similar way, you can do a market research with the help of AI tools like ChatGPT and all. How will you do this? We will teach you. Predictive analysis, if you're launching something, some products, some services, will they work in the market or not? How to analyze those aspects? You will be learning in predictive analysis. Then you have a Canva mastery, how to build, like you can say, using the AI tools in Canva or AI with Canva, how to use that particular thing. Right. So how to use these or how to make yourself more effective using the AI tools, that will be the learning in this particular program. In four weeks, you will learn all the things, and the four week you will be charged about 29,300. But as I said, I will have a surprise for all of you. So what simply you have to do, guys, you have to simply enroll for our course today. If you make your enrollment today, then what we can do, digital marketing course, 35,000 rupees, AI course, 29,000 rupees. Both of them, if you club, it is approximately 64,000 rupees. But you not have to pay 64,000 rupees for this six months course. Five months for first one and like one month for AI. So total will be six months. So for both of the course, you just have to pay 45,000 rupees. You do not have to pay 60 for both of the course. You have to pay 45,000. And out of this 45,000, you will get 6,000 as a stipend after completion of your training. So ultimately you are just paying 39,000 to us. And in that 39,000 rupees, you will be getting all the things. You will be getting your digital marketing goals. You'll be getting your AI related tools as well. Both of them along with that two month of internship where you'll be building a portfolio, right? So we have two different batches for the learning. One of the batch is weekday batch where your classes will be on. All these AI tools will be taught with the same course fee. Yes. You have to pay just 45,000 rupees all inclusive to get to learn all this digital marketing master course, which is for this five months. 
as well as one month of AI course. Both of the course will be available at the same piece of 45,000 rupees. You do not have to pay anything extra apart from this. 1,000 rupees you have to spend during your course for your domain and hosting, that's it, right? So now we have these two batches available. One is a weekday batch where your classes will be on every Tuesday and Thursday, 8 to 9.30 after office hours, which is starting from 2nd of April. Other batch we have Saturdays, which is your classes on morning, Saturday 10 to 1. So if people are working Monday to Saturday, then they can go with this batch weekdays, Tuesday, Thursday, 8 to 9.30 after office hours. And if you're available on Saturdays, then you definitely can do this one 10 to 1 on Saturday. So right now I need a quick confirmation from all of you, which particular batch you are more interested in. You want to join weekdays or you want to join Saturday. Quickly write in the chat box, which one is your preferred batch so that my team can share with you the speed availability in that and you can complete your enrollment for the same. Anipriya is saying for weekdays. Pushpreet is saying for weekdays. Nikhil is for weekdays. Sakshi, you want to join from May. So sure, Sakshi, you will get the May batch. You can enroll for that and you still get the same offers which right now for all the people joining the current batch. Chatir is for weekdays. Ashwin is for Saturdays. Kunj Patel is for weekdays. Vishang said Saturdays. Nupendra for weekdays. Sophia for weekdays. Okay, Venkatesh is saying weekdays. Sure, Venkatesh, I'll be helping you. I'll be connecting with you after this session. Jatin is saying for installment options, yes, my team can help you in that. We have two options for EMIs. One option, if you own any credit card, you can simply pay your fees with the help of credit card and take up to three EMIs on your credit card. And those interest amount which will be charged on your credit card will be revert back by us. We refund your credit card interest fees, right? Or second option is with the Bajaj. So if you want to just go and get the loan from Bajaj, you can get up to seven EMIs using the Bajaj Finance. Nupendra is saying we wanted to join after the first week of April. Sure, you will be get the same batches. So my team will share with you. But yes, to get the offer, you can just simply enroll yourself on the link I am giving you right now because this link is not available on the website. So if you want to just enroll with the given offer, I am sending a link here in the chat box. You guys can simply follow this link and can make your enrollment because if you try to make enrollment through website, then it will be somewhere around 64,000 rupees you have to pay, right? So if you want to make your enrollment at 45,000 rupees, you can use the link I have just shared in the chat box or you can copy it yourself and can make your enrollment after this session, right? So this offer is only for the people who are in this session. The people who are not joining the session, they are not aware about this offer, trust me. If they go on website, you never see this offer available on the website. They have to pay somewhere around 64,000 rupees for both of the courses. Right? So anyone who left, share with me about the batch or any question or queries you guys have, you can simply ask me. Or yes, guys, you can simply leave your feedback before leaving the session. So I request everyone to share with me the feedback of this particular session. If you like this session, just simply share with me that. And if you don't like this session, also share with me that. That will help me to improve the session next time. So if you can just share with me right away before leaving, I just personally want everyone to share it with me here in this chat box. Okay, Rishang liked it. Thanks, Rishang. Kushpri, thanks. Sonja, thanks. Anipriya, thanks. Shruti. Nice, thanks. Sakshi, I'm very much interested in placement in real estate. So, Sakshi, don't worry. Jatin, Sophia, thanks. Vishang, perfect. Mr. Kumar, thanks. Dr. Kumar, Daisy, thanks. Sakshi, fully perfect. So, thanks, guys. And I, as I said, that I'll give you a surprise at the end. So, I have already shared that particular surprise. I hope you really like that surprise as well. So, I Keep my promise with you guys. Do you promise the placement opportunity? Yeah, Shruti, don't worry about it. So getting a placement is not a tough task in the industry if you have the right skill set. So we help you to build that right skill sets which get you the job, right? Trust me, you go in the industry with a portfolio which we make or we help you to make, you will easily get the job, right? Because industry want to see how effective you are. And we are actually working on that. We are actually helping our students to show industry how effective they are with the help of portfolio.
so we help you to first learn everything we help you to practice everything and then we help you to get your portfolio to show industry that yes you are effective yeah absolutely nupendra you want to discuss something personally yeah sure no problem nupendra i'll be connecting with you after the session so venkatesh and nupendra these two people uh, want to connect with me separately so i'm making a note of it sure i can connect with you after the session or you can just ask the counselor to connect with me right you can call your counselor after the session and ask them to connect with me how many student in one batch it is approximately 25 students in one particular batch so don't worry about it it is easily manageable batches and you all can ask your question do you realize that in this session you are 30 people and more than 30 people right so how how do you find this session with more than 30 people you found it interactive you found your all query answered so similar way when you attend your classes you are lesser than this and if you are lesser than this your queries will be even more acceptable session was acceptable as informative perfect can you connect tomorrow uh, sure no pain you can perfect guys so that's all for today's session i'm sharing the link again here all the people who want to just make themselves enroll in the current batches which is this 30th march and 2nd april enroll today itself because we have last two three seats left in these batches right so if you really want to get a seat or reserve your seat in this current batches just then make yourself enroll and get your seat confirmed and to get this offer which i just shared 45000 rupees for both the courses you just have to use this link which i am sharing with you right perfect guys thanks for the time and now you can leave Okay, guys. So this course he was sold as Hari One. Yeah, it will be like plus GST you have to pay, right? So Hari Priya, you can connect with your counselor to get the things clear, maybe. Perfect. You can discuss your fees with the counselor, guys. If there is a gap, like maybe you will have to pay your GST part plus for the AI, you have a different fees. so yes if you simply want to like get the discussion on the fees you simply can connect with your uh, like counselor and can get discussion with them so can we get job placement work from home in corporate sector it depends upon the industry shruti basically i cannot commit on the behalf of industry right there are certain companies who offer you work from home or hybrid model where you have to go two three days a week right or there are company who ask you to come regular to the office and there are the companies who ask you to work completely remotely so there are company like uplers and all they offer the complete remote jobs as well right so if you have a right skill set you can clear any job see even skills are more important when people are offering you work from home based jobs because they are totally relied on your skills right they are not required to monitor your work on regular basis so your skills are more important to get your like work from home jobs so if they believe on you that yes you are someone who can work from home they will hire you and provide you that opportunity internationally also yes that's what i am talking about uplers it is a website who offer you the freelancing work opportunity only for international companies right so don't worry about it you just have to don't think about much on the job aspect just think about how you can become effective once you become effective you don't require to think about job wherever you apply you will qualify trust me try to make yourself more effective day by day right the more you practice the more you perform the more you work or the more you monitor yourself the more you get towards the perfection and once you like effective in your skills then it will be easier for you to get job anywhere whether it is in india or it is you can say the remote jobs for international clients perfect guys so i come i am completed this session in case any of you have any query they can stay and can ask me or you can simply leave the session perfect so i am assuming that no question is there and i am just counting for 5 and then i'll close this session 5 4 3 2 1 0 great 
thanks guys thanks for your time you've been a great audience and looking forward to see you in the training program good luck goodbye have a great day ahead